Hey, it's Golden Buddha here, back with some more RPG horror stories for your listening entertainment. And today we have a story about how the party assassinates someone with a magic pineapple. Never heard this shit happen, but let's get right into it. Roll post. We were a level 8 party of 7, tasked with eliminating a hobgoblin leader who wielded a magic gem which, although powerful, made the user turn insane. Earlier in the campaign, we'd purchased a magic pineapple which supposedly turned the head of whomever consumed it into a pineapple, which retained the aforementioned magic property. Originally, we purchased it as a joke, the DM clearly intending it to be a joke, but we soon found use for such an item. The hobgoblins were encamped in the outskirts of a major city in our DM's homebrew setting, and we did not want to fight or sneak our way through. This is when one of the party members, I forget who, suggested we use the magic pineapple. We agreed, and continued building on the idea the DM clearly surprised with the evolving plan. We'd been given a wagon to ride to the city by a baron who we'd helped previously, and decided to convert the wagon from one that carries passengers to that of a merchant's cart, peddling exotic goods. Our party's tabaxi bard and myself, a human warlock, would play the role of merchants, for we were the only ones with fine clothes. Two of the less charismatic party members, and two of the NPCs we had in tow, would wait at a predetermined location in some woods approximately 500 feet away from the encampment. The remainder of the party would be wearing common clothes and playing the role of whatever travel companions accompany traveling merchants. We'd loaded the newly converted wagon with a bunch of items we'd no need of or didn't ever use, such as a magic plus one dagger, a circlet of blasting, various books we'd picked up. Some of the party members also contributed unused martial weapons and I dumped a collection of mundane items I had been carrying whetstone, soap, insect repellent. Because pineapples did not grow in the local climate, they were relatively exotic. Hence, we planned to offer a sample of pineapple to their leader and watch his head transform into a pineapple, and afterwards we'd make our escape. As we made our approach to the camp, we were stopped and, as expected, asked to explain ourselves. We said we were traveling merchants from far away, selling exotic goods and magic items. After a short wait, we were allowed to come inside, and their leader arrived to greet us. Initially, he was only interested in our martial weapons, but later grew an interest in our magic items. We sold the plus one dagger and circlet of blasting, alongside many mundane items. The Hobgoblin leader even purchased one of our books. After a while, we felt it appropriate to offer him our exotic snack and gave him a sample. We were under the impression that a small sample would suffice enough to transform his head into a pineapple. However, the Hobgoblin ate it all without such a transformation occurring. Thankfully, he had liked the pineapple enough to warrant a purchase. Supplied with more magic pineapple, he began to eat more bit-sized chunks while we were debating amongst ourselves whether the magic pineapple was a scam. We were relieved on his fifth piece. The hobgoblin froze, and in the blink of an eye, his head was a pineapple. Our plan sprung into motion, and Tabaxi Bard grabbed the hobgoblin leader and used Dimension Door to teleport to a predetermined location. I did the same with another party member, while the two who couldn't teleport used Call Steed instead and rode away unscathed. In the confusion and surprise, the Hobgoblin were unable to offer any kind of resistance and we escaped. What's more, we easily pried their leader's pineapple head off and got another magic pineapple, alongside the magic gem we were trying to retrieve. We even earned a large amount of gold from the items we sold, and all it cost us was a wagon we'd gotten for free. Too long didn't read, party disguised as merchants turned a hobgoblin leader's head into a pineapple by selling him a magic pineapple which turns people's heads into a pineapple. Then the party teleported away and escaped to safety. End post. Wow, that was a pretty fucking fun story. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I love plans like that that come up, you know, where you just kind of, you say, hmm, I have this weird magic item and you think of inventive ways to use it, and then boom. And hell, they even got the item back, so... They're probably going to pull that shit again. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think about the story in the comments below, and like and subscribe for more content. And this is Golden Buddha telling you to stay enlightened and stay safe.